Gun Timber Hut is principally an investment holding and management company. While the company was incorporated in 1968 and listed in 1971, the Genting Group was founded in 1965 when its founder, the late Tan Sri Ling Goh Tan, started the journey to realize his vision of building a mountain top resort in Malaysia. Today, the Genting Group comprises Genting Berhad and its listed companies which are Genting Malaysia Berhad, Genting Plantation Berhad and Genting Singapore Limited as well as its principal unlisted subsidiaries Genting Energy Limited and Results World Las Vegas. Led by Tan Sri Lim Kok Tay, the group is involved in leisure and hospitality, oil palm plantation, power generation, oil and gas, property development, life science and biotechnology activities. In the core leisure and hospitality business, the Genting Group and its brand affiliates market and offer a suite of products under a number of premier brands including Genting Resorts World, Genting Grand, Genting Club, Crockford, Metzims, Crystal Cruises, Dream Cruises and Star Cruises. The Genting Group also have tie-ups with established names such as Universal Studios, Premium Outlets, Zoot, Hot Rod Hotel and Hilton. The mission for Genting Berhad is we are a leading multinational corporation committed to enhancing shareholder value and maintaining long-term sustainable grow in our car business for vision concepts is to be responsive to the changing demands of our customers and excel in providing quality products and services as well as to be committed to innovation and the adoption of new technology to achieve competitive advantage tenor audi Genting has an adding weekly internal audit function to assess the respective bugs in maintaining a sound system of the internal control. This department undertakes regular and systematic review of the governance, risk management and internal control processes, including related party transactions. They establish policies and procedures are adhered to and continue to be effective in addressing the risk identified. Internal audit function independently of the activities audit and carry out the work objectively according to the code of ethics and standards set by the professional bodies. Each audit, a systematic methodology is adapted that include performing risk assessment, developing audit planning memorandum, conducting audit, conveying exit meeting, and finalizing audit report. For the year 2020, the committee review and approve the 2021 internal audit plan for the company and the group and authorize the development of necessary resources to address this area identified. The internal audit report also include follow-up on corrective measures to ensure that the management has dealt with the weakness identified satisfactorily. The total cost incurred for internal audit function of the company and the group for the financial year ended 31 December 2020 amounted to 0.7 million and 13.9 million respectively. The external auditor identify different or method involving estimate or the exercise of judgment which could have material impact on the financial statement. In, in according with uh, international standard on auditing, key audit method which in the opinion of the external auditor were of most significant in the audit of the annual financial statement were brought to the attention of the committee and highlighted and addressed by the external auditor in the audit report. The committee has considered the key audit matter highlighted by the external audit and include in the audit report as part of the audit of the financial statement of the group for the financial year and 31 December 2020. 
This matter will also discuss which management to ensure they are appropriately uh, accounted for disclosed in the financial statement. On 25 February 2020 and 25 February 2020, two committee hold the meeting without the presence of any executive director or management of the company to ensure that the external auditor can freely discuss and express their opinion on any matter to committee. And the committee can be sufficiently assured that management has fully provided all rele relevant information and response to all queries from the external auditor. The external auditor share their observation on significant operational matter and key audit findings include internal control. Internal control processes. The following are the critical components of Genting Berhad internal control environment. Every quarter, the board, audit committee and RMC meet to address business and operational issues presented by management, internal audit and external auditors, including potential risk and control issues. Secondly, external auditors verify certain internal controls independently as part of their audit of the financial statements and make recommendations based on important findings. Furthermore, management will implement these internal control guidelines as necessary. Thirdly, internal policies and procedures are documented in manuals that are reviewed and amended on a regular basis to ensure they continue to satisfy evolving business and operational requirements as well as statutory reporting requirements. Importantly, financial performance and cash flow reports are issued to management as well as to the Venting Berhad Executive Committee and the Group Executive Committee in order to aid in the analysis and monitoring of the group financial performance and cash flow status respectively. Lastly, the risk profile will re examined on a six monthly basis and the business or operation head supplied written confirmation that the review had been completed and the action plans were being closely followed. Internal Audit Function the Internal Audit Division is responsible for undertaking regular and systematic review of the governance, risk management and internal control processes, including related party transition to provide the audit committee and the board with sufficient assurance that the system of internal control is effective in addressing the risk identified. Internal audit function independently of the operational activity is audit and carry out its duties according to the code of ethics, standards and best practices set out by professional bodies. On a quarterly basis during the year under review, internal audit submitted audit report and audit plan status for review by the audit committee. Included in the report were risk identified, causes and recommended corrective measure for implementation by management. Internal audit also conducted subsequent follow-up work to check that management helped deal with the recommendation satisfactorily. The internal audit review during the financial year had identified some weaknesses in internal control. These weaknesses did not materially impact the business or operation and were not deemed significant. Management had either taken the necessary measure to address these weaknesses or is in the process of addressing them.